The Gutenberg, Gutenberg printing press, there it is. Air conditioning, the iPhone, inventions throughout history have made our lives, of course, much easier. Yeah, and as Ashley Moser tells us, one invention, the 3D printer, is helping a Utah man turn his dreams into reality. So I grew up always wanting to be an inventor. Sometimes life just doesn't offer the right track. I was going to get a degree in inventing, and then I realized that didn't really exist. But if you want to take a class in persistence, look no further than Brian Stringham. It just kind of came to me one night. With the inventing degree out of reach, he studied mechanical engineering. He's currently working on his PhD at BYU. Design for the developing world is kind of my my background, my PhD work. Then everything came to a halt. Quarantine had him ready to lose his marbles. It was about 11.30 at night, one night that I had the idea. He came up with a modular marble track that sticks to a wall called MagTrax. For a product that's supposed to uh, remove clutter, it creates a lot of clutter in the designing process. But an idea isn't enough. An inventor also has to be a businessman, which is where the doubt rolls in. I've thought that a lot, and sometimes I still think that. He had to see if anyone actually wanted it. I've done research on what are people willing to pay for something like this. The answer was encouraging. But building these tiny pieces with his own 3D printer just wouldn't cut it. And teaches kids creativity and problem solving. Brian turned to the public for help, asking for backers on Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very nervous. He met his goal and then some, meaning he has to build a small factory with bigger printers to handle the load right here in Utah. That's the plan, is to be the MagTrax guy if it goes well. He may not have gotten the inventing degree, but with a big idea and a whole lot of persistence, his plans just clicked into place. I kind of have an entrepreneurship in my blood, and hopefully it won't be the last venture, but yeah, it's, it's one of the first. That was Ashley Moser reporting. Brian's hard at work trying to fill orders right now, and if you'd like to learn more, you can head to his website, magtracks.com.